Hello, it's Anzac Day today. So we've got the Anzac Day weekend. So I'm out camping and I just thought I'd show you what we're up to this weekend. What I've been most, mostly doing, there's a lot of flower gold here, so you, I mean, you can just put through volume if you want, but I always try to stick to the cleaning out crevices up here. You get a lot more gold. So I was gonna start on this one, you can see where the last floods come through. All the mud's been deposited. And then as I was cleaning out the very start, it actually runs off into this way, into this sandbar. So I'm just, you can see it right there, the crevice. I'm just following it back that way and I'll do that one later. I've just been putting it in my buckets and you can see this one I've already cleaned out. It's pretty hard to find a, an empty crevice up here. Sorry, it's very easy to find an empty crevice, hard to find full ones. So I've just been stockpiling it. And then I'll run it through later. It just keeps all the water and that away from where you're working. It saves petrol as well when you can just sit there and run it all through when you're running by yourself. First couple of days I was here, I've been here well, four days, this is the fourth. I just cleaned out all these crevices, you can see it all. Did pretty good. There was one little tiny one, where is it? Here. I probably got more gold out of that little tiny crevice because I panned it out just to check it, then I did all of that. And the main reason, you can see this, this is a massive bedrock slab here, is right here is the drainage point. So it's all, you know, anything that was washing off here. And you get big floods up here, um, let me see. Up in those, you can see there, all the debris from a flood. So she floods high. So yeah, everything runs down through here, into that hole. So if you can find those little tiny spots, you know, you get a lot more gold. Even these little ones here weren't too bad, but that one, that was crazy. Five anchors been running well. I'll be getting a new one this winter. I want a bit of a wider one. That wasn't too bad as a start out model. But being Gal, oh, she's heavy. You would not believe how heavy that thing is. There's my Chinese pump still running well. Uh, what's it been running? Nearly 18 months. I haven't had a single issue except the um, the oil cap blew off one day. So I've just got one off a warm and stuck it in there. So I'll come back to you, I suppose, over the next few days. And keep, it'll be interesting to see um, how far that crevice runs. I won't dig too far into the sand bank. I dug down there, so it took me five minutes just to see what was down under there. There's hardly any gold in there. It's funny, I just did a little one in there. There's about 10 specks in the pan. But, we plan is clean this crevice out, clean it up there, and then I'll probably get in here. You can see those rocks there. Someone's already been, you can just in there, someone's been, but I'll get into that. We can't just next to it. Oh, it's beautiful. Big carp in this creek. Crazy size carp. They're so big you can see them swimming up. But you can see the weather's beautiful. As we're getting closer to winter. So I'll probably come back this hour after I've cleaned all this out and we'll see how we went. I'll just show you, I'm getting pretty deep down in that crevice. So I've got a pan and we'll see if we've got any colour. I reckon it goes a lot deeper than that. So one of these extendable shovels, they're awesome. You can get them from um, your mum's shed, that's where I got mine from. <laughs> so she won't be too happy when she goes to pot the plants. Oh, let's see how we go. Let's change hands. I actually found a nice little picker yesterday. It's the first one I've ever found up here. I find a few flakes, but it's mostly not real fine stuff. There's a 
a good bit of black sand in there, so it's always a good sign. Shockers. Hang on, I'll get a bit of shot for you. It's a much more productive way of doing it. I'm hoping. You can see that, I can't see it on the viewfinder because it's too glary. There'd be at least 50. 50 specs in there and a couple of good flanks. Let's see if we can get out the sun and see it. Oh, yeah, there you can see it all there. Doesn't really like zooming in too much, this camera. And you saw how much material was in this shovel, so you times that by a pile like that. It's obviously not all going to be as rich as right at the bottom of those crevices. That's the, um, it's the way to go. I'm hoping that shows up, I just can't tell. You can see a couple of the big bits, there's tons of fine stuff. Oh, you can see that's a big crevice too, and I run all the way up there. And who knows how far back this way, hopefully not too far, that's a fair bit of overburden on it. But you can see um, what's happening here is that that's coming around this bend, like in a flood. It's coming up over here, so this is still an inside bend. Anything that gets washed up on there is going to find its way. You can see, this is the very last crevice. So, a oh, little one there that's been cleaned out there, and then here, and then get washed into there. So, this one should be pretty good. Yeah, it's all just increasing your chances of getting a good goal. I mean, you know, a place like this you can put through tons and tons and tons of sand and get not bad going. But this way, you know, I don't mind working these big cracks and crevices. Alright, so I'll keep going. Come back to you when I'm running the high banker. Alright, I've finished all cleaning out those crevices. Unbelievably deep. Also heaps of material out here. Tomorrow I'll keep following this one. You can see that because it runs off into the sandbar, but it's pretty deep, so hopefully it'll be alright. Let's have a look at the banker. Pull it down, come back, and we'll see what we've got. 